Hi guys, one of the joys of being a YouTuber is being sent things to review and a couple of weeks ago now after my budget bandsaw build video I was sent this bandsaw to review by Draper. Now right from the off here guys I want to make it clear that this is not a paid endorsement. No money has changed hands. Draper have been honest enough in saying here have a look at this and tell people what you think so I'm going to be equally honest in what follows. This is a 12 inch bandsaw so it's a fairly large piece of kit aimed at the more dedicated DIYer or for the small workshop. It comes pre-assembled except for the table which is thick and heavy. I'm guessing it's cast iron and it's been ground to establish a nice flat surface. The whole thing feels sturdy. There's very little plastic on this machine and the metal panels are tough giving the impression that they'll last a lifetime. But that does make this saw a heavy beast coming in at around 57 kilograms or 125 pounds. Because this saw is so large Draper sell a separate stand. Unfortunately they didn't send me one but that wasn't necessarily a bad thing as it made me realize something quite critical. On the ground it's too low and on the bench it's too high. So unless the stand is adjustable one size doesn't necessarily fit all. So you might want to think about making your own stand to match your needs. As I'm reviewing and filming this bandsaw I built this short wheeled stand to give me easy access. Unfortunately there's no pre-drilled fixing points that I could identify. So I made do with gluing some simple wooden strips around the perimeter. It has a large 750 watt motor that runs nice and quietly and seems well powered to me so far. It has a dust extraction port that accommodates most sizes of vacuum connection. And inside it's nice to see the bodywork shaped to encourage falling debris to go towards this. Any dust not getting sucked in falls through this slotted area which has a handy little collection tray below. It comes fitted with a half inch blade though I've already swapped this out for a quarter inch blade for easier curve cutting. The table tilts up to 45 degrees as you'd expect and the turning control feels very positive though this lever arrangement seems crazy to me. Release the lever to turn the knob and the lever gets in the way. Whoever designed this needs a slap. However fine adjustment is possible thanks to this adjustable resting bolt here. This determines exactly where the table comes to rest so everything can be squared up nicely. When I changed the blade I found the process pleasantly easy. There's a large tension release lever at the back of the machine to aid this. Tracking the blade is also simple thanks to this large knob. And it's great to see this has a locking mechanism to help keep things just right. Accessing the inner workings is easy thanks to these sturdy knobs which best parts self close as the door returns. Tension in the blade is child's play thanks to this top knob. The upper door has a handy window which displays this tension guide. The blade bearings are large and robust. Adjusting these is nice and simple and well covered in the instructions. At the back of the machine there's a handy little storage area for these essential tools. There's also a hook for the push stick that doesn't quite work. A circular shaped hook would have worked much better. The blade guard mechanism is well controlled. The knob is two in one. This smaller part being a lock and the larger knob moving the guard. This means the guard will stay exactly where you want it. The saw also has a good maximum cutting height of approximately six and a half inches. It comes with a sturdy metal fence. This is fairly square but mine came with this unfortunate graze. I like this magnifying measurement guide which should make it easy to dial in accurate cuts. However I found as I press the handle down locking the fence into place it shifts just slightly. 
So it's a handy guide, but guide is the operative word. Fortunately, in place, it feels solid and secure. A feature I do like about this fence is its ability to easily swap from being a tall fence to a broader, lower fence, giving me more room for my fingers. There's a really helpful LED flexi light, which is very bright and easy to position, though it doesn't necessarily stay exactly where you want it. As seems typical with most saws these days, it comes with a mitre gauge, and just as typical, it's a little too loose in the guide slots for accurate cuts, but still it's handy nonetheless. I do have two gripes with this machine. The first is petty. I hate this switch. It works, covering the on and off buttons and providing that handy fast action stop feature, but it feels cheap. It doesn't seem to fit the quality feel of the rest of the saw. The second gripe is a little more serious. The blade insert is horrible. As you can see, it's plastic and it's not flat to the surface. This makes cutting smaller items problematic. It's easy enough to remove and pack out with slithers of cardboard, but to me this really shouldn't be necessary. So with all that said, how do I feel about this saw? Well, I like it. It's quiet in use and it seems well powered. It doesn't want to rush me, allowing me to work at my own pace and the large flat table gives me plenty of room to move the work around. The dust extraction seems to do its job and the LED makes it easy to see what I'm cutting. And the quality of the machine seems to match the price range. So all in all, it's a saw I'd be happy to own. When I finished this review, I ran it by Draper out of courtesy. They welcome the feedback and tell me that they've already begun working on some of the points I've raised, which I think says a lot about this British company. And that's all I can think to say about this saw right now, guys. Draper are happy enough for me to hang on to this for a couple of weeks, and I might well do a few bandsaw projects to share with you. So if there are any updates to this review, they'll probably be in there. If you have any questions about this saw, drop me a line and let me know. I'll do what I can to help. Whee! I hope you enjoyed this one guys, and if you did, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. So that's it for now guys, take care and thanks for watching.